Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and let's continue playing as the new American state in Hearts of Iron 4. So, I just want to remind everyone that, yes, unfortunately, I still have to um, record these videos ahead of time. And uh, I can't take in your comments. I hope you're leaving comments. I mean, by the time this video comes out, I will know if you have or not, but I really don't like recording like this. I used to record like this, where I just recorded a bunch of videos in a single day, and then uploaded them and released them over time, but I, I didn't like doing that. And I still don't like doing it, but like I've said before, it's just kind of what I have to do. But at, we're we're uh, we're I can't speak right now. But we are at war with the she, and they're trying to attack us, but they can't exactly win. So let's go ahead and do something regarding Alaska. The stars and stripes forever. The men and women who miss the end of the world stumble out of their suspended animation pods, looking at the oddly short men and women who handed them their blankets and a soup that almost tasted like chicken. Hmm. Don't worry, said one of the nurses. It's been a while. But on behalf of the Enclave, let me assure you that the star-spangled banner yet waves over the land of the free and home of the brave. You honestly didn't miss much. How touching. Absolutely touching, as we are winning a war, or just defending in our war against the Shi, where they've taken almost 11 thousand casualties which is good for us so let's go ahead and do the reservation next wait why did they need slaves the secret service took out the gatling guns guarding the reservation with a few fat men and overran the facility with the minimal enclave casualties and its secrets were revealed when we stormed a room labeled the green chamber the vats contained humans with bloated stomachs and was dead silent save for a baby's cry somehow the ghouls had created a ghoul baby one of the ghouls claimed that these tests would ensure a future for ghouls with additional refinement but most find using humans as brood mares to be horrific some of the ghouls pled pled for us to spare their youth and claim that they could reproduce on their own we'll strip the facility obviously but what do we do with these ghoul kids kill the monsters so we could raise ghouls to be loyal to the enclave huh so we can spawn a unit of Enclave Ghouls ready to fight and die for America. No. Kill the monsters. There is a reason why we chose segregation in our path. We must purify America. We're not purists. But we must purify America. God, that sounds terrible. Well, not really. But kind of. But not really. Anyways, this is just a role-playing game. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm doing alright. Just had some coffee. So I'm doing very, very well. Ooh, baby. We gotta in install some of these guys here. Adel Badlands. Yes, I know I can do some, re some research stuff, but I'm going to wait. Yep, never mind. Um, we are running out of things to research, so... A lot of this stuff doesn't even really matter. I guess more resource efficiency gain, get more electricity. Uh, go ahead and join these guys. I know we have a lot of divisions going to be made, but that's alright. It is a little bit laggy. The Shi look like they are suffering a little bit. Have they lost all their... Yes, they have lost all their manpower. Glorious. So any attack I do, or any attack they do, they cannot replace their losses. Now, if I, to, if I were to attack, we probably wouldn't win. At least early on. Ooh, Los Algodons. Never been, never been. But maybe someday. Greater Day Glow. Mexicali. Very nice. Oh, we should probably install a police force around here if we can, or need to. Gila. Colonet. Um, very nice. Reform the general staff. Oh, actually. There you go. Do that. We're going to do old remnant officers just because I don't want to lose stability. We're already done with land doctrine, so old remnant officers. El Maron. And I'm just letting time go on because I'm assuming, currently, that the she are just continuing to bash their head against me, which I kind of enjoy. Santa Rosalia, Rosalia, uh, Guaycura, I cannot pronounce Spanish terms, but I can maybe pronounce La Paz, I think I got that term, and they've stopped attacking us, which is fine with me. So, let us see if we can do any damage here, take half of you guys, come that way, take all four, because we have the, the defenders there, oh my goodness. If we were to, at to attack... It would have to be, obviously, very pointed, structured attacks. We are definitely more experienced than them. Are we doing any sort of air damage? 0.5 damage? Not a lot. Not a lot. I think we'll be okay if we go ahead and do this, though. Oh, my goodness. And there they go. Awesome. This is looking beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Find a power grid. 
move in with the infantry. Like I've said before, I know that the piercing on the enemy's infantry divisions might be so high that they can just pierce my power armor, and that's why I'm using infantry. But in the end, I'm still going to have at least mostly an all power armor military. Because that's... Because why not? Because why not? Vidal, very cool. Cool. Uh, more free dockyards. Might as well keep doing this. I love me some big old ships. But we can't exactly win over here super easily. We've lost 250, 261. While the Chinese have lost 25, almost 26,000 men. Oh, what a shame. So I could fix up my canoes. I'm only building one. We might as well build up another one. Why not? Come to Etna. More divisions. Two more divisions. We're going to flush out, f finish off some of these other armies that we have, which will be good. Oh, hello there. Oh, we're just calling on everyone to destroy all these convoys. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of divisions, actually. Give me half of you guys. And then cut those guys down. Nice. Another army, then. <clears throat> cool. For you guys, I'm going to send you to... Ooh, this will be fun to take out Ashton. Huh. Where do I send you guys to? I know. Northern border of Klamath. Or not Klamath, but the Modoc area. That might be okay. Might be. Are they trying to like, get rid of their division so that they won't really get attacked or something? I'm not really sure what they're doing. But now time to call on the power armor to attack wherever we are at. Can they pierce us? Yes, they can pierce us. That's why I don't like to attack with the power armor, but I do what I must. Lots of casualties. 47,000. We're probably going to hit 50,000 before the she give up. Oh, baby. And they are going to give up right here. Very... Oh, they just all died. Or they went in the water where they're going to die in the water. I'd rather die on land than on water, but that's just me. So, yeah. Very nice. Look at all these things. Look at all these little bubbles. Oh my goodness, this is horrendous. Well, for them, not for us. Another power grid. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Harrington. We have so much manpower, I'm... I'm thinking that I'm just going to go ahead and lower my conscription level so I can build things faster. And... Not get so many penalties. Currently are on extensive conscription. Going down to limited won't hurt us too much, but we'll get better factory output, better construction speed, and a little bit slower training times. Or technically faster training times. All this stuff is just great stuff. Old remnant officers, we got more stability, more army XP that we really don't need. So we're going to do officers by loyalty and devotion, or by merit and skill. We lose stability, we get army XP. I like loyalty and devotion. I like that more. More power grids? Cool. Ben, ben Rally? Cool. Broken Top. The Warren. Diamond Peak. Is that it around here? Ooh, Bly. Good stuff. Camalt Station. Ah, I remember those people. They deserve to be in the ground now. Awesome stuff. Cool. Oh, we have even more. The Maw. Carlin. Oasis. The 80s areas. Now, even though we're demobilizing, by doing this, we're getting more manpower. At least at the current moment, which is kind of cool. Deep Creek. Oh, and we can actually do that. Nice. Which means now we can actually put these guys in here. Awesome. Put you guys over here as well. And they'll build all that stuff up. As well as the Shi areas currently held by them. And the former Brotherhood areas as well. Very nice. But as we're doing that, I'll come back to that in a little bit. Wartime Draft. We need the Fiends, the Iron Alliance, we need all these guys. These guys, nice. 
Very nice. More power armor to us. Thank you. Casualties before we move on. 69,000. Nice. We've lost less than 500 in this entire war. Yet we've killed 70,000 enemy soldiers. Good God, this is brutal. And, of course, naturally we got herbal bandages for a better reinforce rate. Let's get some more reconnaissance for us. For our bad selves. Nice, nice. This was some of the first areas that I actually was able to core. Even more power armor. Hallelujah. Oh, and these guys are coming, spreading out. And didn't even need to do that. Cool. We have all these fellas underneath us. Thank you, she. You. The she actually saved our butts, but they couldn't even save themselves. How disappointing. You know what I'm going to do here? I think because I don't want to attack into the mountains, and these guys are will be very strong defensively, I might try a little cheesy tactic here, but go ahead and do this. I will go to war with Ashton and Hopeville. Nice. You guys already have a lot of infrastructure, which is great. That's actually all the infrastructure you really need for that area. Um... More super heavy battleships, I guess. No real problem with that. Next. You guys are focused in the north. You sh might not be able to hold, maybe. I don't know. So give me you guys. I'm going to go with, to war with Klamath and open up that front. Actually. That'll be good. More power grids. Great. A lot of this is already done. Cool. Klamath. Everyone has orders to go somewhere. And baby, we got a lot of orders. Hunt and destroy. Close air support plus 20% agility. Nice. Do this. Let's put you guys up in half when you guys are ready to go. There you go. Give me 200, throw them onto here, and give me the other 200 and throw them onto this area. Officers by loyalty and decision, and officer corps reform. So it costs a little bit more to get more military leaders, but all divisions get 12, plus 20% organization and minus 10% supply consumption and plus 15% max uh, planning. Glorious. I mean, there's really not much else I can say, except we got another response boat. But this is all just glorious. Outrigger canoes. Give me one. Go to Etna. Awesome. Are our soldiers up here in Klamath? Bane Med Grade. Um, I don't see Klamath on here. Can I go to war with them yet? No. 110 days. That's alright. Um, you guys. Whatever. These guys will be mostly inexperienced, but I don't really care. Which means I'm going to do this. I'm going to call an audible. You guys come to the south. See what happens when you go to war with these guys. No problem. No problem. Vipers. Oh, antelope tribes. Let's definitely do that. Vipers will be next as well. Power armor. Not suffering from attrition, which is kind of surprising. They're ready to go, so I'm ready to go as well. And they immediately try to attack us. Actually, they can only attack these 13 divisions, which is nice. And we immediately took the areas that we can't even control. Awesome. Brotherhood of Seal outcasts declared one of the Wild Swamp people. Well, it's a good thing those Brotherhood of Seal people were actually outcasts. Because right now, the only Brotherhood of Steel folks on the West Coast is in the Mojave chapter. They're the last group. And they're not going to be around for very long. I'll put it like that. Ooh. They're going to be going baba soon enough. Get more research speed. Even though we really don't need it. Any more ships? Some more heavy cruisers? I'm going to wait till we get some battleships in there. That'll be better. They're still attacking us. What is the manpower like for these fellas? Not a lot. They got 30 divisions, but they're going to be run out of manpower very soon. Very, very soon. These guys up here. Go to, go to war with them. You guys should have no problem attacking from the south. You guys in the north, you might have a few problems. But I don't really care. We got the manpower for it. We got the supplies. 
just eat them up eat your heart out man just crush them yeah you guys are kind of inexperienced but you'll get training eventually uh, down here they have stopped attacking currently but they are getting more manpower and they're revamped up their attacks they went with scraping the barrel which honestly in the end will mean basically nothing oh look at this this is just the tribes once you take out all the enemy nations, enemy nations, enemy nations up here, it's GG, man. So up here, um, I'm gonna need to call another audible of some sorts. Give me you guys. You come to the south. You guys come to the north. Doing it like this should be okay. It is quite a bit to defend over there. Break the tribe, nice. Officer core reform. Let's go ahead and core that area. Ooh, Bloomfield Space Center. Yeah, just go ahead and core it. That's fine with me. Oh, we can't core it. Oh, no, because we're still doing the other focus. Okay. Good for us. Still can't save my game, but that's okay. Ah, do it in the north as well. Why not? Doesn't matter. How about down here? So, it looks like the enemies are wanting to attack. They got enough manpower to. Uh, what is the air superiority like over here? Oh. Not great, but we have more dockyards, of course. I'm um, just keep making these super heavy battleships. I love super heavy battleships. I love the Republic. I love democracy. And we're going to have democracy with, with or without you. Ah, industrial machinery. Nice. Well, this is almost 900 days away. Whatever. More on Etna. Officer Corps Reform, and Civilization by Force. Vipers. I think we already have Vipers, don't we? Yeah, we already have Vipers. Um, Navajo Nations. Do we have Navajo Nations? No, we don't. Let's do that. Alright. So, this is going to take a little bit more time, which is fine. No worries, no worries. This area will be fun to do as well. They're pretty much ready to go. I think we should be able to defend fairly okay. I was a little worried about this down here, but it's three divisions. They won't probably be able to do very much against us. They're probably going to keep trying to attack us more and more. Too bad the Desert Rangers were taken out early, but I don't really care. In the end, they're all going to be subjected to the same rule of law by the new American state. Every time I say new American state, I always think it's like a fascist dictatorship, but whatever. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good so far. South, they don't really attack too much. A little bit, but not too much. Awesome. These guys are just kind of hanging out. Chris Hamilton, you're level 7 general. Holy crap. Uh, let's take a quick look. Since they can't really break us, level 5, still 7, 7, 2. Makes sense. And 3 and 7. Alright, very interesting. Casualty list, 5,000 for Ashton, 2,000 for the Vipers, 280 in total for us. Just, this is brutal, man. So since we're waiting for these guys to tire themselves out against us, let's go ahead and see if we can core any more territory. Not bad. Alright, very good. Oh yeah, oh, response boats, nice. Arm craft. Response boats, mark two. Do that. Sailing ship by one. Even though I didn't upgrade these guys yet, whatever. And go to Etna when you're done. Nice. We have so many factories now. <clears throat> oh man, I'm going to have to go pee soon. But, what else are we doing here? We will have to focus eventually up in the northern parts of the country, but in due time, my friends, in due time. The Needles, Blythe, Sonoran, Golden Valley... Kingman, Hoppy, Hopi, Dry Wells, Willow Beach, Peach Spring. Sounds very nice. Bonelli Landing, Boulder City. Actually, I didn't do that one. Hoover Dam. Oh, we can't do anything because we don't have any more room to do stuff in there. Wiki Up, Peach Springs, Tusayan, Fray's Peak, 
Flagstaff, love it. They're actually connected. Coconino, Prescott, Civilization by Force, the Black Canyon, North Phoenix, as well as South Phoenix. Cool, very nice, very nice. Civilization by Force is a great thing. Bloomfield Space Center is next. Yes, I'm avoiding some other focuses. Not because I want to avoid them, just because, I don't know. I don't feel like doing the other ones yet. Salt Bearers. Bears Flat. Hide Bark. Yes. Nosebreaker. It doesn't look like there's very much up here either, so. Fredonian. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty much... Mostly looking if we can install police forces in places, but whatever. Oh. Every time I click, I keep clicking off. Alright, they're still attacking us like crazy. I'm on max speed. It's 18, 2285, not 1888. And it looks like the Vipers are all now out of soldiers, which is great. So, everyone go right ahead. Teach them who's boss. If we can't win all these battles, you know, that's alright. We do have a lot of divisions down there, and they can't replace their manpower like we can. We are still demobilizing, but something tells me we'll be okay. We'll definitely be okay in the end. And we still have 2% legitimacy, which reminds me, I will be doing the focus, or the decision, that will give us a crap ton of legitimacy, so that maybe someday we can hit 100%, even though it doesn't even matter. That would be a glorious day. Anything else? Yeah, I didn't think so. Vipers slowly, slowly dying off. We've taken a thousand casualties, mostly from the Vipers. Have we not taken any casualties from Ashton? We've taken no casualties from Ashen, yet we've killed 12,000 people from there. I love power armor. It's so good. Just, like I said when I was playing Desert Rangers early on, I'm a huge slut for power armor. It just, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. It's just so good. So for destroyers. Just give me more convoys. I don't know what to do with all these things. Oh, we can go to War of the Den. Nice. That's actually really good for us. Um, more for power grids, I guess. Oh, nice. Go ahead and take all states. As as you might as you might be able to tell, it is getting a little bit laggy. So, and that's okay. A little bit of lag didn't kill anybody. Well, I don't know about that. Go ahead and surround Klamath. This is just turning into a beautiful, beautiful state. And I'm going to actually send you guys up north next. Because we need to focus on this area as well. We need a new general, Simon Abercrombie, which I've actually used before. We have until January 1st, 2286, to go to war with these guys. Ashton, they are refusing to give up. They are actually have probably have a lot of guys who sent divisions. They're out of manpower, even though they're on scraping the barrel. They have a lot, a ton of volunteers. Holy cow. But, Bloomfield Space Center, by the rocket's red glitter. With the liberation of Bloomfield Space Center, we could use one of the pre-war shuttles to do something as I get more convoys. Um, since they went into orbit and reactivate the Red Eagle orbital platform. Some scientists question whether a one-off propaganda event is worth doing, but this could also let us reactivate the spy satellites of the Enclave place over America before the war. What goes up? Mr. President, several hours ago, our astronaut spaceship crashed in the Pacific Ocean off the Boneyard. Although he is fine, he didn't... He said he didn't want to talk about what he found on the Eagle Eye, and all records seem to have been wiped out. The station itself crashed in Northern California a short while ago, but on the plus side, he did reactivate the other spy satellites. So we get more... Holy crap! Plus 50% more reconnaissance? Oh, this mod is just... Lovely. I'm not sure what else to say, but it's just... Lovely. Oh, we still need to do subsidized servants. Yeah, we might as well do that. Awesome. And between this episode and the next, I'm going to do, probably, hopefully, if I remember, find ready power grids. So we don't do that. So we have to do that during this time. T-51B power armor, more reconnaissance. And more soft attack, which is amazing. So for you guys, even though it says... Or the enemies aren't re doing really well. Um, I don't know. Just I don't want to attack yet. Go ahead and go to Etna as well. You guys... Do that. Yeah, we're building a lot of ships. A lot of ships. If I t were to attack... Oh, you actually have... Level 7 still. Not bad. I would probably attack this way. Jessup is defending. Chris Hamilton regular is attacking. They can't pierce me. 
And we won. Cool. Combat unit destruction. Awesome. And we have our second power armor general under Terry or Kerbal Terrell. Kirby Terrell. Nice. Really awesome. Go ahead and begin planning for the Mojave Raiders. I'm going to need actually a couple armies for that. Actually, maybe those guys wouldn't be the best thing to take out. But I think it's a good time to go to war with the Klamath. Will they attack us? No, but we will go ahead and pacify the area. We might not be able to win every battle, but that's okay with me. Because Ashen has fallen. And that is glorious. Go ahead and throw you under here. You guys... We'll just come to Ashton next. Come down here. Build up this area of Ashton to the best of our abilities. Let time go on. Build up some radar. Build up some more air bases, even though we probably don't even need it. And have a good time regardless. Ooh, resources. Eh, whatever. We'll build that stuff anyways. Um, we could probably core some territory as well. We're not suffering from attrition, which is kind of surprising. And we might as well go to war with Hopeville immediately. They might attack us if they can get more soldiers on the front line. Maybe? But I might just be able to push them out anyway. So, very nice. The War with Klamath is, of course, taking a little bit longer than I expected just because this is a lot of mountains and hills. And Hopeville just died immediately. Great job, guys. Wow. Beautiful. I mean, it's... Just beautiful. Oh. Is there any other one state province that we can maybe take out? Maybe New Hammond, actually. Is New Hammond allied with anybody? No, they're not. So actually, they would be a good target for us. But so would Genta de Sol and La Gra Grangas. Let's do this maybe next. We might have enough soldiers for this, but maybe not. But anyways, we're doing really well. We'll end the episode when we finish the war with the Klamath. Just everyone go ahead and... If you can move in, go ahead. We've got to take a th about a thousand casualties. We've killed about three thousand of these guys. No problem. Lots of fun. We've got a hundred and eleven thousand manpower, and that will be the end of this episode because the next time we're going to go to war with Bellingham and continue to focus up north as well. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I know I did. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to push further and further north and reconquer the United States of America because look how thick we are. We are beautiful and sexy. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.